Alrighty, good evening, afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to Fortress Craft. We have been doing some offline work, and I'll show you that in a sec. But first of all, I wanted to talk about this. So this is our um, plasma head setup. Yeah, I did have a bit of problems with this in between episodes. Um, I've kind of pushed it a bit, and we'll see how it's going. But yeah, let's push it a little bit harder. The problem is, I looked at my um, magical mining thing. Oh, big gap there. And what it told me was, hey, guess what? Um, some of these guys don't have 20 in them. And in fact, I think it was lithium. I just saw lithium. I only had 15, but now it's got 20, so. Very, very interesting. It must have just filled up there. So anyway, the point was, some of them were down to like 10. I think two of them were down to 10. And as you just saw, this guy is full. I mean, empty. He's empty, so that is that is not good. This guy is full, and I believe this is the one going down to iron, but that one's full. You are empty. You are empty. So, yes. And this guy sending downwards is empty as well. So, yeah. There's still some uh, backing up that needs to start happening here, but we've given it all the resources that it can currently hold, so that should be fine. <clears throat> And as you can look, I, you can see that I've stockpiled quite a lot of resources. I got at least 10k of everything, which is awesome. And I've also been running, letting this guy run quite a bit in the background. So as a result, gold is done, nickel is done, and I'm on my second load of titanium. So this is 649. There's enough in here to get it to 1,000. So once this all finishes off, this bit, then we will be good to build it. And of course, <laughs> after that, yeah, it will be interesting. Not being attacked at the moment, but something else I noticed while I was offline is that we actually were getting low on batteries, like some of these guys were running out. So um, today is all gonna be about power. So I wanna get two power things going. I wanna get an additional load of batteries. Um, so I'm thinking one battery in the middle and it shoots left and right with the uh, purple shooty things to recharge these batteries. And yeah, I would also like to start working on the proper generators, the jet turbines, I think they're called. Um, now, we've got 200 high energy composite fuel, which is awesome, but this system where we dump iron in here is a little bit funky, but it's fine because if my understanding is correct, the jet turbines will dump out an empty, uh, empty fuel container when they're uh, when they're done, when they're finished burning it. So we can turn that into a full feedback loop, and we don't need to continuously supply that with iron. So yeah, those two are going to be our focus. Um, the jet turbines, I think they take advanced machine blocks, but other than that. Not really a lot of crazy stuff. Plastic pellets, we got a decent amount of. Uh, gold, we got so much. Low grade steel bar. Um, we got, oh, uh, we're all right. So I think we can start off making two of these based on the amount of plastic we got. Uh, yeah, let's start off making two of them. And once we get two of them, we can set them up. We can see how they work and stuff. and. Yeah, we'll set them up for the OEM. I don't think I need to use any for these guy yet. I'm just gonna put more big batteries and more solar panels. Speaking of which, we're gonna need tin plate, aren't we? We gotta remember that we always need tin plate. So you are lithium plate, you are tin plate. And you know what, sir? Um, I think we are going to get, I already got a 500 storage hopper, okay. We need to get this guy to be a 500 uh, slot hopper because it is just a thing that needs to be done. We really need to better organize this crap. Okay, so where's my 500 slot? You are 500, you are 2000, and you are 1000. Okay, so that's somewhat a little bit better organized. Okay, so we go and we get some tin plate right here oh. and we pull that back out and it's all good actually you can go 
there. Damn it. And we're gonna get that low grade steel bar there. Uh, sometime I will in organize my inventory. I always forget to do it properly, but we need like five bars or something that are completely set up properly, and then we need like six and seventh bar for miscellaneous crap. Okay, so what the hell was I doing? Um, let's see if how well we can do on the batteries first, because so we're gonna have four more of these big old Mark IV battery components because we're going to have the big old solar panels so yeah we definitely do need them um, so 27 by 4 is 108 108 times 6 is a buttload that's like 600 so I feel like we just get all of these guys working and then any extra tin plate that we get out we can just put it or you can just hold it because we always need tin plate so let's just get all of them running uh, that's gonna be fine uh, I feel like we've got enough gold nickel and tin and titanium because god look at all that crap that's just amazing that amount um, so solar panels uh, what do you need crystal clocks so we need 12 of these. So 12 times 16 is 192. And we got 128, so not quite enough. You're a clockmaker. You require crystal, which is in here somewhere. Here it is. Okay, so I'll do that. Okay, so I think we've covered... Uh, So, I seem to remember 36 being the number that we need for that. Plus, we'll craft a little bit more, so we just got some extras lying around. Okay, so I believe, I believe we have everything covered for uh, the solar panels, with the possible exception of this. Yes, we could use alloy machine blocks, but... So then we need eight of those guys, um, because we're going to have four batteries... And then each one is going to shoot sideways at the two corner ones. Give me some gold, please. I feel like we were getting close to about 10k gold there. Oh, boy. Not quite full, are you? This guy's full. Let's keep them going. I am a little bit worried about nickel, but we just got to gotta be a little bit more conservative because... Well, I mean, either we be conservative or we go and at some point we look for another nickel deposit and... To be honest, looking for another nickel deposit would probably be one episode. So it's not that painful, but at the same time, I don't want to just throw 2,000 slot chests around everywhere because I can, because that's just wasteful. And I don't feel like the uh, effort to get more nickel, another nickel mine, is that minimal that we can just throw nickel around and waste it. So we're going to try not to do that. And I think everything else should be fine. Um, gold is a little bit light, but gold is right next to nickel, so getting another gold mine really is going to be so easy. Uh, unless, of course, we run out of gold before we run out of nickel, but I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, so I picked up a whole bunch of clocks. So let's get the old solar panels. Uh, what's that tin supply? Looking like batteries. What did we say we needed? 108 times six. That's 600 or something. So that'll still be a little while. Uh, and there should be enough in here. I could tell if progression got out of the way, but of course it will not. So, oh, what are we doing here? Turbine, 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 turbine. It's gonna be in here, doesn't it? So, what do we want? Two of these. So we need. 72 plus we need 90 advanced machine blocks and everything else I think we're good at so advanced is not alloyed which is good so it's just that so that's 20 already low grade steel bar and crystal clock so we've still got more of those in there there we go that's a bit so that'll give us a bit and we probably need another load like that 
Yeah, it's making one at a time, so that's fine. Okay, low grade steel bar. Uh, you are over here, aren't you? What did you need? Iron and nickel. Excellent. And then clocks. We might as well get some more clocks going. You know what? I feel like we really, really need the crystal deposit to be on the same tab as those guys. Um, just because. And can't move you. Can't move you. Oh, that's a pain in the ass. Okay. What else do we see? We just made a whole bunch of crystal clocks. I was this as a hardened machine block, so we don't need that. So you're just waiting on clocks. Okay. You are just waiting on clocks. 74. Damn, that was fast. That was really fast. The crystal clocks are taking ages by comparison. Here we go. Some more crystal clocks. 31 advanced machine blocks. How many? Whoops. How many is that now? Uh, 64. So we've still got a little ways till we get up to 90. Tin. Okay, and we need, so we need 28 more, 28 more. Go remember that number. Give me some clocks, give me some low grade steel bars. You are, now you're out of this. Okay, you're always out of something, aren't you? Well, that's the wrong thing. Did not mean to do that. Uh, 90. Come on, give me 90, please. 76. We're going, going up and down on low grade steel bars as well, so we've got to keep an eye on that. 10. Crystal clocks. Well, at least this guy's got enough power. This guy's enough, enough power. Desire's 1. Desire's 50. Well, this guy's pretty fast anyway, so I don't think it matters. He doesn't have enough power. 16. I think that might be enough of these guys. No, not enough of those guys, but we've got more coming through. Ah, uh, the jet turbines. Yeah, that looks like enough. Inventory. Yep, inventory's full. Go on. No, nothing. No, nothing? I know you'll always take stuff from me, but none of the other guys wanted anything. Oh, it's all this random plate and crap that we got going on in here. That is just nuts. Well, it's taken a lot. I don't know where it's taken a lot from, but I don't feel like it's taken anything particularly useful. That's uh, pretty stuffed. Uh, let's go over to here. And let's dump some stuff up in this direction. So, you, sir, can take this and that and that, because those are your sort of components. Uh... Look at this freaking cold cavern flora. We really don't need that, I feel like. Uh, I'm sure there's a command somewhere to automatically put this in, but my god, I have not been able to find it. Just get in there. You get in there. Organic rocks. Well, keep the organic rocks, actually, because I might need them for something, but... Mm, the plants I have never needed for anything at all. And you know what? Logistics Falcor, you can go as well because you have been 100% completely useless. Research parts can go as well. Crystals, yeah, let's just dump them. They will be potentially useless, the diamonds especially, but I feel like we'll be able to find them again. I feel like that's not going to be too hard. Display unit, yeah, you can go. Uh... Oh, 
feel like we don't need that many tree chunks. But of course we can't dump them because we've got too many of them, so... Yeah, okay. That's given me a fair bit of space to work with. So, what were we building? It was these guys, wasn't it? 2672... 99. So, that's what we need for the jet turbines, I think. Probably some miscellaneous chests and belts and blah, blah, blah. But, uh, hopefully that'll be enough for this stuff. 91, 108, 7, 8, 108. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So let's go set those up first. Surprisingly, I'm not really being attacked. I'm being attacked a little bit over here, but... That hardly seems to count at this point. So, there's nothing in the way here, is there? This is just below the batteries. What I'm thinking is, I'm going to leave lots of room for moving around and expansion and that sort of crap. So, uh... So we're going to put this guy really close to this guy. And... Is that right? Is this too high? I can't tell. I think that's right. So we're going to put it really close and then we're going to have lasers going out in both directions. Two, three, four... I really can't tell. Yeah, okay. Of course it's right at the top. It stayed right at the top. Did we get it? Oh, freaking Falcor system. Give me my thing back, please. Alright, just give it back. It'll be there somewhere. Somewhere. We got, we started at 108, we put three down, and now we got 104. And it's gonna turn up in the goddamn Falcor system. I just know it is. Okay, we won't need it. We won't need it right now. So. Two, three. Oh man, this, this Falcor system, it's so good, but at the same time, I don't know if you actually can change it so that they'll only pick up certain types of things. I've never looked, but I'm starting to feel like that would be a good idea in this, uh, some circumstances. Yes, thank you. I knew the Falcor system got it. Absolutely, 100%, no doubt. So... What we're going to do here is we're going to... So this is just on the right, and then we're going to do just on the right here. So... Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Yes, I caught it. I got it before the freaking Falco system did. You. And let's put another one over here. No, that's not what we want. We want it to be up the top. Catch it, catch it, catch it. 52, 53, excellent. Now we just got one more left right over here. Excellent. Catch it, catch it, catch it. There we go. Apparently I am still faster than the Falcor system. Which is which is definitely good to know, because if the Falcor system was faster than me, I feel like that would just be a massive, massive problem for dumping anything on the ground. And I think we still do need a Falco system relatively close to us. Um, Cause yeah, let's see. Rup, rup, rup. There we go, beautiful. We almost need like a walkway around here so we can get up and then we can walk around. You know what? I feel like that is a really good idea. Hmm. No, that's too high. Uh, or is it? 
Actually, you know what? I feel like that's perfect. I feel like that is perfect. Go. So the walkway goes like this. So we put it like that, and then like that. Just like a little cross thing there. Excellent. Whoa. So is something not lining up here? Something is not lining up here. Uh, what the friggin' hell happened? Are we gonna have to destroy stuff? Because I really want these guys to line up. I really, really, really do. Okay. So you are brilliant. You are brilliant. Uh, you are brilliant. You are brilliant. It's just this guy. That guy over there that's not brilliant. Uh, let's have a look. So, we dump over to here. We're right on the middle. We're at 7 and... 7 and negative 11, which isn't an exact coordinate anyway, so I feel like this whole system is just foobar. Uh, is it foobar enough for me to rebuild it? I feel like that the answer to that question is yes. Is yes. Um, because we want to get these batteries in there as well. And eventually, what I want to have is a whole big battery system. So, you... Mr. CPH, what are you? You are three by three. So you got a battery. Stop shooting me. I don't know who's shooting me, but I think there is some sort of crazy mob that can shoot me. So, so you are zero, one, negative two. Negative two will be a gap. Negative three, negative four, negative five. Gap. Negative six, negative seven, and negative eight. Gap. Okay, so this gap is, this one is actually the good one. Surprisingly. Where am I? Eight. Negative eleven. <laughs> so zero. One, two, three, four. Zero. One space two three. Four space five six. Seven space nine ten. Oh, we screwed that up, so um zero. One space three four five six seven eight nine ten. Now it's saying now it's saying twelve. So zero one two three. So three is the middle. Four space six seven eight space ten eleven. So eleven is exactly where we want it to be. Negative eleven. Um, and since this is all isometrical or however the hell you want to do it uh, is going to be 11 11 so it's going to be negative 11 negative 11 or positive 11 positive 11 and so on and so forth until the end of time which I'm guessing you are not you are 7 and 8 you are completely off all right so let's rebuild these guys oh man the Falcor system is gonna have a field day with all of these things this is going to be just pure nightmare. we are got to make sure as best we can to pick everything up before the Falcor system does. And of course, because we're right on the corner, there's four different Falcor systems that we have to worry about. No, no, pick it all up, pick it all up, pick it all up. Okay, I feel like if we're right underneath it and we pick it all up, then we are fine. Okay. Alright, so what we do here is... Eh? Eh? So, if the middle of this battery is required to be in 1111, then this thing is supposed to be 99. Nine. 45. Nice. Crap. Shit. Okay. Here we go. 
let's put that out like that. Let's go up there again. And let's figure it out. So, nine. I am at nine nine right now. So, we get rid of that. We put a thing here. Done. And now we get rid of this. And we get rid of this. And what we'll do is we'll just slowly clear everything up and then rebuild it once we're sure that we've actually got everything. So 54, that seems pretty good. So if I go up here, uh, what we'll do is, that, and then we'll build one below it. I don't think we're going to need any batteries underneath because if we're all solar powering it, then, you know, there's no point having a solar power bank underneath because then the solar power plant can't see the air. You know, it just makes sense. So, and I feel like we're just going to have a big old square. We're not going to have like um, solar thing batteries inside. Uh, maybe we would, but who knows. Crap. Shit. Shit. Oh wait, I got a jetpack, don't I? We ah, jetpack. So a little bit funky, but I feel like it is a good idea for this uh, this particular situation. Whoa, whoa! Except for that, I tried to jump and I jumped too far. I jumped too far. So now we can do this. Yeah. Keep it steady, keep it steady. All right, we'll just do it in the ground. Yoink. Oh wait, no, we just lined this up, didn't we? Six. So yeah, this is bad. This needs to keep going. Uh, anyway, there we go. There's, there's our battery, so that's all good. Turn off the jetpack, because it's probably gonna, no. It's good that we're getting this done. A bit slow and a bit ornery, but it's good that we're getting it done. Now, I guess, I mean, we need to do, we need to get stuff done while we're waiting for the, uh, while we're waiting for the titanium bits anyway, because they're still going, slowly going, very, very close to being done now. 879, but yeah, I feel like doing this is, whoa, 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 you know, it's definitely helpful, so. Seven. So you need to go back there. Eight of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. do here is we'll do this and then I'll go back to F7 and we'll get ourselves these guys on the thing. So you go like that and then you go like that. So the middle one is shooting out at both sides which should mean this guy charges up like you would not believe. Although this is this is 320 per second and this is producing 405 per second. Which is fine, so it's more than enough for one, but this will mostly be filling up too, so that's fine. So, let's us continue on. Uh, what the hell happened here? So I'm at nine, negative nine, excellent. Which means that we put the thing at the wrong place. Should be here, should be right. No. Ah uh, shit, the laser pointer. Did we get it? Uh, I think we got it. Uh, okay. Construction paste. That's good that it's picking that up for us. We don't have to worry about that stuff. Okay. Alright, 
well, let's uh, let's keep on. Let's uh, try and push this a little bit faster. I might do some of this off camera, but I feel like this is our main project for this episode: is filling this out. I'm not gonna bother with the generators this episode. I'm just just not because I feel like this is more than enough to keep me occupied and yeah if I get to like the 40 45 minute mark and we're still doing this and it's taken forever then I'll be like yeah okay do it offline but for now I feel like it's not too bad it's not like mind bum mind bogglingly you know stupefyingly stupid work or anything like that it's still it's still somewhat interesting we're having to do measurements we're having to do mass we're having to doing blah 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 Sorry, we're at 6-6 six, six at the moment. So we need to be at 9-9, nine, nine, don't we? Yes, I believe we do. Okay. So let's go down here. Let's push that out a lot. Oh man, this jetpack is making things so much more awesome. Okay, so I'm at 9-9 nine, nine right at the moment. So we can do that. And there, there is our cross, right at the edge. So get rid of this guy. Excellent. Get rid of that guy. Excellent. Alrighty. Now. Uh, we might as well put the other one up here as well while we're here. Like that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're up. Thank you. Okay. Alright, that's that corner done. No, wait, we still gotta put the turrets on. Um, what what did I just do? That is not what I meant to do. There we go, that's a bit better. Now, of course we can keep building turrets out on the side of these other batteries as well if we really want to up our coverage, but I'll probably only do that once we have a full nine grid on each side of this and it's still, you know, slack. It's still not enough. Okay, so, let's go over here. Seven, excellent. Fifty four, excellent. So, okay. So I am at negative five, so I need to go out a few more. I think this might be exact already. Negative nine. Negative nine. Yeah, this is beautiful. So this line is already where it needs to be. Okay. Shit. Does that mean we could have left these batteries here? Uh, not sure. Not sure about that. I feel like they may have been off by one axis or a, one axis or another. You know, they're always off by at least one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, 
I hope that this solar panel battery sort of hoover jank is going to be enough for our defenses. Although, as we've said, I think I've said it a few times, um, what we can do is just leave this set up as it is and build some generators down below, some jet turbines down below, and then shoot the power upwards. Thank you. And we're going to have everything feeding into the... Uh, on. feeding into the ones at the corners but we're not going to feed out of the ones at the corners because that would be just silly um, I know that you know they only really attack one corner at a time so maybe it would make sense to do that to some degree but I don't think we're going to I think we're just going to yeah four okay almost there and maybe at the end of this episode, we can actually get all the OEM parts. And then next episode, we can just be like, boom, let's build it. Okay. So, you are going down here, which means that this battery is wrong and this battery is definitely wrong. May it be just off by one. So this, let me have a look here. Yeah, negative 10, negative 11. So off by one. Very unfortunate. But off by one is still off, so you still have to be destroyed. Twenty-seven, excellent. We seem to be missing a solar panel, though. We only got seventeen, and we should have eighteen. No doubt, I am going to. Oh, damn it, we're missing a thing as well. We're missing a battery bit. God damn it. God freaking damn it. Construction paste? Well, there's a construction paste. I suppose we have to wait for it to show up. It's like the mail service. You uh, have to wait to get the mail, which is just a pain in the ass, but... So, you can go away, and then you are like that. And that should be negative nine, negative nine. So, does that come in yet? Ooh. Yes, both of them came in excellent. It's a little bit worrying because you it's like, oh, maybe it won't come in. Maybe it'll, uh, it'll just never arrive, and it sort of worries me a little bit. But it came in eventually. So you can all... I mean, the mail service may be slow, but you can always trust that it will get there eventually, which is good. Six, seven, eight, nine. And then the next one goes over here. Two, three, four, five, six. Nine. Excellent. And it looks like we might finish this whole thing by about the 40 minute mark, which is which is pretty good. I'm gonna be happy with that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you. That direction, and then we put that there and it goes in that direction. And yeah, some of these are charging up faster than others, but they're still doing pretty good. So this is 405 per second. This is 405 per second. So they're working. You are doing a lot and you are doing a decent amount as well. But once this guy fully charges, this guy will be able to shoot all of it to the left, which is awesome. And speaking of which, let's get this guy going. So we can start shooting some at this guy. You're gonna start shooting something now? Oh, shit, shit, shit. I just do not know. Yeah, there we go, it's starting to shoot some. Excellent. Only 30, oh, I suppose it's slowly getting up and this guy is probably, yeah, that guy's taken most of it, 292 versus 30. I don't know how to fix that too much, but it'll get fixed over the long term, I mean. Or approximately fixed anyway. So there we go. That is our defensive grid. It is now perfectly square and perfectly beautiful. And it should have more than enough power for all of these guys to run once we give it a little bit of time to charge up. 
And yes, we are seeing attacks coming in from multiple different directions at the same time. That's a pain in the ass, but, you know, that happens and we can deal with it. So that's fine. And if we uh, start running out of power, I'll put four more batteries in the other thing. And I don't know if we'll do any cross between them, but yeah. So, we've got plenty of spare space. What's your deal? 989. Almost, 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 almost there. Very, very close. You've got like three left in you, and you guys have got 15. Well, 15, that's still a decent amount. Well, not super decent, but yeah. So anyway, that is going to be uh, next episode. I feel like we'll start next episode with all of these guys. We'll build the uh, orbital enhancement motor or whatever the freaking hole it's called. What has this got? Oh, these are those other research packs. So we'll build this in all of its glory, and then we will build um, power to support it. We'll see how much power it needs, and then we'll be like, holy shit, that's way too much power. It'll probably be like a thousand power a second, or two thousand power a second, or something ridiculous like that. Um, yeah, but we'll start it up, and I feel like we actually stand a chance of holding off the massive amount of threat we're going to generate when our OEM goes live, because maybe this isn't enough, but we can put more batteries, we can put more turrets, we can expand as needed, and we've got a base, basic design that we can just keep expanding and it'll be awesome. So, <clears throat> anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope it hasn't been too loud. I've got the door to the outside open. Is that done? I thought there was still 15 in here. You guys got used up fast. Excellent. Maybe he was sharing with the chest down the bottom or something. Who knows? Anyway, that's all done. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.